Good evening, everyone. Welcome to After Dinner Pipe and Coffee. Smoking my Joby tonight. It's a six millimeter filter in it with some McBaron's Plum Cake Navy Blend. And I don't think I don't think I let it sit out long enough. It's moist. I have it jarred up. And my coffee just black, of course. I've never smoked this before. I must say it's pleasant. Very pleasant, very pleasant. Not that I'm an expert, because I'm not. That's Thanksgiving Eve. Much to be thankful for. Very much. I'm going to take the glasses off. Got a great job. Got an incredible wife. Some good kids. Yeah. There's a lot to be thankful for. You know, the history of Thanksgiving goes something like this. The pilgrims landed and Plymouth Rock, right? And their first year was really harsh. Winter was really long. People died. It was a hard winter. And after it was all said and done, a year later, they got together and they gave thanks to God. And they celebrated their thankfulness to God for seeing them through such a harsh year. It wasn't a national holiday. Until Abraham Lincoln. He signed it into law that it would be a national holiday. And ever since then... We've been celebrating Thanksgiving every year. Thir what is it? The third, third Thursday of the uh, of November.
contrary to popular belief. The pilgrims did not celebrate in November. <laughs> it was after their harsh winter of their first year. So they were just thankful to be alive and make it through, and some of them didn't. So, and so every year we celebrate Thanksgiving. And every year we drift away from the true meaning of Thanksgiving. I think in Canada they have Boxer Day or something. Isn't that what it is? I'm not sure. Um, similar. Um, but we don't do much. Um, it's become so commercialized. When I was a child, we learned about the pilgrims. And the true meaning... With Thanksgiving in school. I don't know what they teach now. When I was a child, we would get together with family and we'd roast a turkey and we would have Thanksgiving and we'd give thanks. What are we really giving thanks for? My opinion is we should be giving thanks for a fine year that we've just been through. All the things we've been through for the year. That's what we should be giving thanks for. But we've taken Thanksgiving and we've commercialized it. We have the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday shopping. We have Thanksgiving sales. We have Thanksgiving specials. We have Thanksgiving commercialized. Everything is commercialized. And like Christmas, the true meaning of Thanksgiving has fallen by the wayside. Now, that's not for everybody. There are people who celebrate the true meaning of Thanksgiving. We are one of them. And there's a lot of people like us. But if you look around us in social media, in the, in the stores, everybody's so excited. I think people are more excited about the Black Friday sales that start, that used to start at 5 a.m. in the morning. Then they went to 2 a.m. in the morning and midnight. Now they start 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving night, which is a joke. Um, and I think people are more excited about that than they are about getting together with family and being thankful for all that they have, for all that they've been given, for the health, the wealth, the jobs, the family, and everything. And it's more about watching a football game on a television set, which is fine. I love doing that. And it's more about deciding... And planning on Thanksgiving night after dinner where you're going to go shopping the next day. Um, gee, I guess you can see how I feel about it. But Thanksgiving is supposed to be a time of thankfulness. Thankful for all the things that we have. We got it so good in this country. So good in this country. Um, and we take it for granted. And I think... We take for granted all the blessings that we have uh, as Americans. Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. Not from, of religion. You can practice any religion you want without fear of persecution in this country. Um, the American dream. Good wages safe environment good education there's a lot of things good health care you know for as much as the health care system is messed up we have some of the brightest 
and most intelligent medical professionals in the world living in this country. We're very fortunate. Within 15 minutes, I can be to a hospital. There are some countries it takes hours to get there. In some parts of the United States, the same thing. You have to fly people in. But for the most part, come on, man. We got it good. We got a convenience store on every corner. We have a McDonald's in every town. Our store shelves are never empty. We have very low unemployment right now. We have a lot of homeless people and a lot of people going hungry, especially children. That's unacceptable. So I guess what I'm trying to say is when you think you've got it bad, I promise you, I promise you, somebody else has got it worse. So be thankful for what you do have. Be thankful for the family and the friends, for the job, for the good health. And if not so good health, for the health care that you're able to get in this country. Uh, be thankful for all that God has given you. The next commercial holiday we have is Christmas. I'm thankful because tomorrow morning the Christmas music starts. There's another holiday we've ever commercialized. We started pulling stuff out. I saw stuff in the stores in October. In October. So, but anyhow, we're not going to talk about Christmas. But I'm thankful. I, I'm going to be with family tomorrow. I'm going to be with family that I don't normally celebrate Thanksgiving with. I'm going to miss my children because they're going to be away at different places for Thanksgiving. But I get to be with my family on the other side. My in-laws and my brother-in-laws and my sister-in-law. And, and uh, my nephew. So I'm very thankful. I'm thankful that I still have my mom. I'm thankful that my brothers uh, are my brothers. Uh, and I'm thankful for the for the people on YouTube because without you I do not have a channel and I'm very thankful for that and it's a big responsibility that's how I feel uh, I don't take it lightly um, but anyhow I'm not going long tonight because it's a holiday and I'm not going to be on tomorrow night because it's Thanksgiving Day and I'm going to spend the day completely focused on family tomorrow and being thankful. So, when you go to bed tonight, take stock in your life and look back and think about all that you have been through, accomplished, want to accomplish. Um, and all the good things that are going on in your life. Because we have it good in this country. We have much to be thankful for as a nation. Uh, we've been free for over 200 years. Not a bad record. So. I wish you all well. I hope you have a blessed night. Have a wonderful day tomorrow with your family and friends. Or whatever you're doing to celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, and I will see you all. Um, Friday night tomorrow night I will not be broadcasting anything tomorrow night so I might pop on but I doubt it so if I get the urge I don't know but anyhow happy Thanksgiving everybody um, many blessings to you and your family uh, I, I think about you all often or else I wouldn't be on here so much um, and I just enjoy this time Light them up.